we should point out, and this is gonna uh, this is gonna be talked about on on earnings, and it's gonna be a problem for markets. It's what Elon Elon said about Tesla and SpaceX uh, being under inflationary pressure. He's 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 telling you what CEOs don't tell you. So he's telling you this is a problem, and uh, you're gonna you're gonna start you're gonna start hearing this everywhere. And, uh, you know, and, and this is why the Fed is just in such a tough spot, because uh, the, the, their task is not to fight what they created. So yeah. interesting. That, that's very interesting, Omid. But here, here's a, another piece of this that the Fed probably knows is if they raise, say they raise rates 2%. It doesn't fix inflation. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't fix oil. It doesn't fix food prices, right? It doesn't fix nickel. It, it doesn't fix fertilizer, right? It doesn't fix the stuff that's really flying, right? The, the I mean, stuff that is supply car, chain related, yeah. yeah it'll, it'll fix car prices, right? It'll fix house prices, but, but it's not going to fix the real cause of all this stuff, right? And 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 I think they know that, and that's a problem. And but the market is, you know, and, and, and I'm a culprit too. Is we want the world to be good, right? I mean, I want the world to be good. I don't, I don't want the world to be good as shit. Of course, even yeah. is, right? We want it to be good. So unlike, I want prices other, to be stable. Uh, Unlike everything else, we want the market to go go up. We want everything to go up. We we want our lives to be well done. We don't want shooting in the street and crime and wars. We want things to be good. And it's not right now. And it, it and it can't be fixed in a day. It can't be fixed in a week. It's going to take months and months and months. Think about it, Omen. Facebook told you they're out of Russia because they're blocked. 60 million users gone. And the stock went down a dollar that day and then 14 the next two days. It went down a dollar. Like people were like, oh, Facebook's going to be fine. How, how do you recover 60 million users and ads on those 60 million people? You don't. At least for a quarter or two, you don't, right? So, so the logic is so simple here; it, it's unbelievable. It's really unbelievable that, that any of this stuff is going on. You know, Roku. She bought Roku, telling you, "Oh my God, it's so good! It's, it went up thirty percent, and now it's going to go to 60. Think about that. Think about that. Who the hell is buying a Roku? And, I, and let me tell you, you go do this test. I want somebody to go do this test. Go find a $20 Roku and then go find an $80 Roku. And you explain to me why anybody is buying the $80 Roku. There's not one reason to buy the $80 Roku. These companies came up with this thing of offer me two, three, four different things. And everybody always says, ah, it's only 20 bucks more by, by the more expensive one. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. Look at snow's about to break now. Snow's about to break. Okay. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Let's start. Three fourteen. Three fourteen. Middle of the month. But this is Fed week. Do we go way up? Maybe. Do we go way down? Maybe. Do we get a deal in the ceasefire? Do we rip way up? Maybe. Does everything else possible? Does China say they're getting involved? Let me tell you, if China gives them weapons, then we're going to get pissed off, the U.S. All kinds of stuff's going to happen. Taiwan then would possibly be next. I mean, you're talking a cliff that would take five years for the market to recover from. Five years. Think about that. For all you Apple people that have Apple for all this time, be be careful. Know this. <laughs> okay, one other thing I want to talk to as we get going is I talked about 
there, there are so many people on Twitter that don't understand anything. They don't understand the basics. All they do is copy me and stuff. They don't even understand what they copy. Here, here, here's the problem. So ways that you can hedge. Let's say you have Tesla, and you bought Tesla at 500, and the stock's at 850. You can go out and buy the 950 puts, $100. They're going to cost you $100. But there's no premium. You're not even going to lose a dollar. You buy something with no premium, puts. And if Tesla drops 50, your puts go up 50. And if Tesla goes up 50, your puts go down 50, but your stock goes up 50. You don't lose anything. And then you go sell some calls higher up to make sure you still make some money. And you, you don't sell them at 800. You go, if you bought the nine, if you sold the 950, you go buy the 1050. And you go take in $2 or whatever it is. And so you make a little bit of money. And you, you can't lose money. You can't lose money. It's impossible. You are 100% hedged. Okay? Now, one, one thing I said Friday, and some clowns out there on Twitter don't understand the market. They're saying, oh, my God. If, you're, if funds are completely hedged, you can't get a crash. There's a difference between down 20, down 50, down 100. That's not a crash. It's impossible to crash if everybody's hedged. You can go down. You can go down 50. You can go down 100. You can go down 150. That's not a crash. It's just a down market. So understand that. Things are going lower. They'll continue to go lower. Do they pop? Maybe you can get pops all over the place. And then back down. Okay? Very straightforward. Nothing is getting better, and things won't get better for a long time. Okay? But the market on good news will have furious pops. And on bad news, it will die. Okay? SPX up 16. Uh, it was up 35. If it goes negative, we really drop. You got 40. You got 4181, 4152, 4100, and 4100 breaks, it gets really ugly. Okay, NVIDIA, chips have a big problem. Chips have a massive, massive problem. Okay? So just keep an eye on that. So NVIDIA, you got 216, 209. Any close over 209, if it stays under, you got 200 and 191. Land research, look at, look at it go lower. It's down 200 points. If they don't have me on, this is interesting because Friday, an analyst came on and says, ASML has neon, and so does Lamb Research, for a year. They have a year's worth of neon. So they're good for a year. But what happens further down? I don't know. I have no idea. Is this world over? I don't know. Do they start selling this stuff? I don't know. Do they, does it cost way more? Maybe. I don't know. Then we see and then we see. Okay, 451, 432, Avago, 551, Crowd, 82, 182, 179, needs 196 to be better, Z-Scaler, 221, needs uh, 221 close to be better, Pan W, 572, ENPH hit 184 and dove 20, Jesus, hit the number dove 20. Roku, 99, 91. Amazon. Amazon's going to split 20 to 1. Nobody cares. Nobody cares because after the split, nobody will ever play it. You'll have funds that don't want to lose money, play it. That's it. And I, I put something out there, and, and it, it, it's hilarious to me how people that don't understand stocks run services and people pay them. It's fascinating to me. Oh, my God, you'll, you'll make the same money in Amazon that you, you make now. Guy comments. Omid, we'll ask Omid a question here. We'll give him a quiz. We'll give him a quiz here, Omid. If you buy Amazon after the split, is it ever possible to buy a $1 Amazon option that will go to 100 Is it ever possible after? Will you ever get a 1 to 100 move? And we got some people that caught 
a three to a hundred move on Amazon here. You will never, ever, ever catch a one to a hundred move. It will never happen in your lifetime or your kid's lifetime or your kid's kid's lifetime. I will guarantee you that. Why? Well, it's like uh, it's like saying uh, Apple uh, one to a hundred. Yeah, yeah, because because the Amazon thing will be if it goes up a hundred points, it'll be a trillion dollars. <laughs> how, how how do people not understand this? Snowman one seventy six one seventy one. I think it can get to one thirty two. Baidu one hundred nine one hundred one. Interesting. CF. This is another one that fascinating last week. You had 15 minutes to catch a double plus, and then it went to shit. And fertilizer, they stopped fertilizer. Then why is this thing not 120? So just wait and just wait till they start jacking prices, and then it'll be okay. So just wait. Shopalicious, can it get, this got to 590, and it dropped 50. Wow. This one's interesting, if it can go up. But what we're going to do, we're going to sell the Baidu to cover this one. It's going to be 100% paid for. That's it. Then we see, then we see. UPSC, don't know why this is diving, but something's out there. 96, 91 needs 122 to be better. Apple, how far down can Apple go? Jesus. 149, 141. Be careful. If China says that they're giving, they're going to supply arms, Apple becomes so risky that they just take over Foxconn. Did you hear what Russia said? Russia said they're going to take over all the companies that have left, all the trademarks and everything. Wow. Moderna. This one's interesting. Does this one rip on the virus coming back into China? Wow. Very interesting, right? Yeah, 143, 151. Google. 2521 next downside. Needs 2700 to be better. Three weeks. It's tried. It can't get up. So it looks lower. Tesla, look at drop. I mean, Tesla sure looks like, you know, six uh, six ninety one coming. This one looks like a disaster coming. Probably buy some puts at the open because he just told you what Facebook told you. He just told you costs are too high. He just told you this. I I'm not seeing how it gets better at all on it. Then we see. Then we see. Then we see. Okay. Uh, that's what we know. Actually, like some SPXs, maybe buying some SPXs here pretty soon. So let's see what happens. Uh, how far do we go? How huge a drop do we get? Everybody have a great trading day. See you in chat.